Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this video, wherever you're at. You know what time it is? It's morning Bible time. <laughs> um, I like waking up and doing this and uh, reading a chapter or two of uh, one of the epistles to you guys. And today we are on Galatians chapter 3. Ah, Galatians chapter 3. Mwah, so good. If you want to just shut down legalism, if you want to shut down justification by works, which there isn't any justification by works, if you want to shut that down, yo, read Galatians chapter 3. And then read the other 150 verses in the Bible that say that we are justified by faith alone in Christ alone. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen, dude? God is so good. The precious blood of Jesus Christ was and is and will always be enough. The gospel is this, 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4, that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead. The moment that you believe that, you are saved, sealed, and sanctified until the day of redemption. We were all born into sin through Adam. Adam sinned, and we were all born into it. Through one man, through one offense, sin was born into, into the world, into all of us, okay? Now we have inherited it. Now, by one, many offenses have been forgiven and justification and life has been given back to us by our faith in him. And who's that one? Jesus Christ. I'm paraphrasing um, Romans... Paraphrasing Romans chapter 5. Yes. Go and read Romans chapter 5 as well. And you'll see that we are justified. I mean, Romans chapter 5 verse 9 says, Much more than being now justified by His blood, we shall be saved from wrath through Him. Verse 10. For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being recon reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. What did it just say? It just said that there is remission of sins by his blood. We are justified by his blood alone and by the death of his son, Jesus Christ only. Jesus Christ only, yo. That's it. Jesus Christ paid the debt for us for all eternity, for past, present, and future sins. Trust in him alone. We got to come to an end of ourselves and just believe the gospel, yo. It's Jesus Christ died for our sins, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead. After we are born again, yes, let's be renewed in our mind and let's walk humbly as the Holy Spirit leads us and guides us. But it does not mean, as Galatians 3 will tell us, verse 3, chapter 3, Are ye so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are you now made perfect by the flesh? No, no, we're not. We have begun in the Spirit. How do we get saved? By the hearing of faith. Oh, it's so good. He's going to say all that. We got saved by the hearing of faith, not by the works of the law. The power of God is by the hearing of faith and not by the works of the law. We don't obey a certain amount and then he blesses us. No, we're just blessed. We don't follow a certain number of ordinances and we're ho holy, quote unquote, living a righteous life in our own flesh, puffed up, vainly puffed up in our own flesh. And then he decides to give us life. No, he just gave it to us through the blood, through the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ. Why? Because he is a perfect and righteous, just and holy father who is love. And he reconciled us to himself when we were his enemies. Hallelujah. Okay. I digress. Let's get into Galatians chapter 3 and you will just, mm, just listen. Listen as if Paul is speaking to you himself. Listen as if the Holy Spirit is speaking to you and confirming truth because this is the word of God. This is truth. Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. O oh, foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that you should not obey the truth, 
before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth, crucified among you. This only would I learn of you. Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Are ye so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Have ye suffered so many things in vain, if it be yet in vain? He therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit, and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness, know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. For as many as are the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is every one that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident, for the just shall live by faith. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, Though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man disannulleth or addeth thereto. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not, and to seeds, as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul, that it should make the promise of none effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise. But God gave it to Abraham by promise. Wherefore then serveth the law? It was added because of transgressions, till the seed should come to whom the promise was made, and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Is the law then against the promises of God? God forbid. For if there had been a law which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith, which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus." For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ's, then, ye, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Hallelujah. Is that not amazing? All right. That's it for right now. I love that chapter. So good. Just so many great nuggets. Just the entire chapter is literally just like, guys, it's, it's, the, it's faith. It's faith. It's faith. All right, guys. Let's do, let's do our best to uh, keep praising, keep praying for each other. We're in this together. Um, thank you all for your prayers. I really appreciate it. Um, 
Yesterday, the attacks were super gnarly on my physical body. Um, same with my wife. We were just under, we were just under gnarly attack yesterday. The enemy really hates the children of God. <laughs> uh, yeah, please, uh, please pray that God makes a way for each of us. We have, uh, we have a couple things that we have on our hearts um, that we have prayed about to God, and we just ask um, that you guys would ask for God to make a way uh, that He would give us a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him, as well as um, health and joy and peace. And we will, we will be praying for all of you the same things. And if you have any prayer requests, please put them in the comments and we will pray over them together. Okay, God bless y'all. I love you. God loves you fiercely and passionately. Remember, greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. And if God be for us, who can be against us? All right, God bless. Take care.